Welcome on board this sleeper train to the Arctic Circle. We'll travel overnight, savoring Finnish dining, cozying up in our bunk beds, and waking up to a winter wonderland in Santa's hometown. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks from Greenergrass.com. This is the Santa Claus Express, and you're coming along. Here's the plan. We'll leave Helsinki just before midnight and travel overnight for about 12 hours through Finland, deep into Lapland, where we hope to meet Santa in his official home near Reveniemi. Our journey begins in Helsinki. It's the world's northernmost city with more than one million residents. Where the temperature here has dipped and the intermittent snow reminds us we're here at the right time of year for this trip. This is going to be the furthest north I've ever been in my life. Before it was Fairbanks, but this is even more north than that, 66 degrees north to be exact. This is also probably the most bundled up I've ever been in my life. And it's only gonna get colder. The first tracks here were constructed in the 1860s, but the station wasn't built until 1919. What was once the ticket office has taken on a new purpose. Maybe the world's most beautiful Burger King. The station was designed by Eliel Saarinen, father of Aero, who would go on to design Dulles Airport, among others. The sun sets early in Helsinki, about 3.30 in the afternoon, but our train isn't due to leave until almost midnight. Back inside, the crowds had died down significantly by the time we were ready to board, about 30 minutes before our departure. Let's go. Perfect timing. The train is just arriving to platform 8. Let's get on board. Despite the late hour, the platform was full of other passengers eager for our ultimate destination. It's happening. We're going to find the big guy. I just know it. This train has seven sleeping cars, two coach cars, and one restaurant car called the Food Wagon. Our car is located at the very front of the train, just behind the engine. And that meant the first time we'd ever boarded a train in the snow. This is just like totally snow covered on the platform. It's been pretty snowy here the last couple of days in Helsinki. Our room, located upstairs toward the front of the car, has another unique feature that was a first for us and a surprise for me. We're now on board the Santa Claus Express and we've stepped into our room. Suzanne does all of the booking for us and why are, why is this a pet room? <laughs> like, there's a dog bowl here. So this was the date we needed to go on and this was the last cabin on this train. And we're thirsty in the middle of the night. <laughs> there's your water bowl right there. Rooms like this upstairs are the largest on the train. Downstairs, there are more sleeper rooms, but those uh, don't have en suite, so you have got a shared uh, bathroom and shower. Uh, so this is a great space. We'll have plenty of time to explore it, of course, but uh, it's about time to get out of Helsinki and head north. Here we go. Getting in the mood. Can you imagine I found this at the dollar store? What a bargain. I can't imagine that that would be where you would find that. We locked the door behind us and headed back four cars to the dining car. There's a comprehensive menu of hot and cold food, along with plenty of drink options. Suzanne ordered a long drink and a falafel salad. And with meatballs on the menu, we all know what I had. from Helsinki to Ravenamini in about an hour. This is going to take us about 12 hours overnight on this train, but actually it's a pretty good deal when you consider we're getting transportation and a night of hotel all in one. Stay tuned to find out exactly how much we paid and how you can book your own Arctic adventure. But for now, let's look around this room. The bunk beds are the dominant feature here. Each one is really large and even has a luggage compartment associated with it. There's also a bench here connected to the lower bunk. There's sturdy stairs leading up to the top bunk. They take up more space than Amtrak's ladders, but also seem much more substantial. There's even a small stool built in here. It's perfect for looking out the window and just wait for what we're gonna see tomorrow. It'll blow your mind. It's time for the greener grass tape measure. It's longer than the tape measure. This bed is 76 inches long, 28 and a half inches wide. There's even space in the upper bunk to sit up all the way. The room itself is not very wide. It's a cozy room, but it's really all we'll need for the next 12 hours. The ensuite bathroom is immensely practical with everything you'd expect in a space like this. A couple of great features of this bathroom. First, the floor is heated, so my feet are warm right now. That's great. 
uh, in the Arctic North. But the second thing that's really cool is how easy this shower is to convert. I mean, look at this. So convenient. Does that mean you're gonna take a shower? Well, this is only 12 hours, what's the point of that? <laughs> Wi-Fi access is available throughout the journey, and it was reliable and fast enough for browsing and texting all we really needed. Well, it was nice to hang out in the dining car, enjoy a, a drink and a late night snack, but it is after midnight, so I think it's time for us to go to bed. Little known fact, I always sleep in this hat. If he knows when I'm sleeping and he knows when I'm awake, I think I'm going to sleep pretty well in this train, so that's good news for the big guy. I was also glad to have this little panel here, which had room for a water bottle, a, a socket, uh, there's a light here, and even a clock. And just like that, it's time for bed. And that gets me thinking, I know what I'm asking Santa Claus for this year, but uh, what about you? Let us know in the comments, what do you want from Santa Claus this year? Good morning. Uh, it's about 5.30, so uh, we're continuing this journey north. Uh, the sun's not gonna be up for a while, but uh, I guess I'm up for now. It was a good night of sleep. This is a pretty comfortable bed. Didn't feel much movement. These are great tracks. Uh, so that, that bodes well for uh, the rest of the trip all the way north. For the next hour or so, I watched the countryside pass by. We made our way over rivers, through small towns, and had our fair share of stops as we glided past this winter wonderland. Eventually, it was time for a cup of coffee, so I made my way back to the restaurant car. It was pretty empty in here at this early hour, so I was able to get some work done before it was time for another cup of coffee. How great is this? A refill is only one euro. We passed one of VR's fleet care facilities, and then the beautiful station in Ulu, which was built back in 1886. Just then, Suzanne joined me and we ordered breakfast. Suzanne had the breakfast combo that included porridge, coffee, and juice. As for me, I just had an omelet with frankfurters. Wow, really good. Fluffy. We made our way back to the room where the views became practically otherworldly. That breakfast was just as good, maybe even better than dinner last night. It was really fresh and delicious and the service in the restaurant car has been fantastic. Now, you can also have food delivered here to your room. You just have to work with the conductor to, to place your order. We chose not to do that because we didn't know when we'd wake up. Now, it did get pretty busy while we were there, uh, so it's a popular place for sure. Uh, so uh, make sure you give yourself a little bit of a wiggle room if you're, gonna, if you're gonna head up there. There's just nothing like waking up on a train, especially to a scene like this. This is maybe the ultimate expression of the rail zone. It's hard to tear my eyes away. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and the sun is only now coming up. We're very far north. We still have one more hour left uh, on the train and I think we're gonna take advantage of all of these views for as long as we can. This time of year, there are two departures every night from Helsinki up north. We chose the later one, not because we're night owls, but because of this. We wanted to get some daylight in the morning. The other departure would be completely in darkness because you get to Ravenbini at I think it's around 8 a.m. So you'd be completely in darkness the whole time, given the late sunrise. Those were reindeer. Santa's gotta be close. We're nearly to Revaniemi, but the trip's not over yet. We've still gotta find the big guy. This is a regularly scheduled service of Finland's government-owned railway company, VR. We booked the trip on the company's website, which I'll link below. Now our cabin for the two of us cost 179 euros total, or about $195. We'd arrived right on time to a very chilly day. But enough about that. We have places to be and people to see. We immediately hopped on a bus for the 30 minute ride to the official office of Santa Claus just outside Rovaniemi. We are up there now. Lapland has been home to Santa Claus for centuries and this village, directly on the Arctic Circle, is his official headquarters. Found him. We're headed in. We did it! We got to meet Santa Claus. And when we did, we asked for one thing, that each and every one of you have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Between now and the next time, see you on the rails.
Now, is this lingering and, and lasting a long time? It is. Uh, and I'm going to stop talking at this point. It takes me back to college. We used to drink jungle juice. Thinking maybe my hat is like wearing white at a wedding. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing this here. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm committed and it's warm. I don't like cold weather. <laughs> this is a lot. I have six layers on. I wonder if we're north or south. 